this is not gonna be as long as the last video. That's not really necessary because there's just a whole lot less civs in the new world. Basically, the scenario today is that everyone from the Western Hemisphere is gonna colonize the old world, as if everyone in the East died from the plague or something. Now I'm for the first time using some modded civs and I will probably do more experiments with that, especially if I do another like long Civ 6 video, but there's only seven nations in the base game that start off in the west, so this should keep things exciting. We got 13 nations in this game, as well as all the modded leaders are Native American, so I guess there's technically only three colonial nations, Canada, America, and Brazil. Another thing I noticed is this map got an update, so there's gonna be a lot of tiles lost due to climate change. By the end of this video, the world's gonna look completely different. Which is something that I've wanted in these games for a really long time. Just to see like the ice caps melt and how that would affect the map and how would big wars change. Another thing I'm trying for the first time is we're playing on Emperor difficulty, which is difficulty 6, not deity. I think we'll see less snowballing, but still kind of a lot. I'm also pretty curious about this region because America and Canada normally get into it pretty fast, but with this nation, that could definitely change the things up. Same exact thing goes for the Northwest. I think the biggest problem with a North American true start location is the Cree is just so dominant every single time, but I don't know if that's gonna be the case here. I'm also just starting to notice that Brazil kind of has some space. They might do well because uh, they're not as crammed in as some of their South American friends. And yeah, they don't really have to worry about this as much. And the Mayans will hopefully slow down the Aztecs because Montezuma likes to go crazy in these games, but I don't know. I mean, I, you never know because they do like to disappear. I think the natives are gonna have the advantage, especially early on here, because most of these civs have some sort of unique unit during this time. They could cause a lot of trouble. Which, speaking of trouble, uh, I don't even know if I can show some of these leaders because we just got nips kind of hanging out, literally. Uh, don't really wanna expose that because uh, I would like to not be demonetized forever. And already, these guys are kind of surrounded by the colonial nations. Do they have another settler somewhere? Maybe they got it stolen away. Two cities are being founded by these nations kind of all over the place, but uh, we do already have our first death. Yeah, that was just not a good spot. I'm assuming the Mapuche is going to take this, but it could always flip to someone else. Maybe the Inca. Luckily for the Mayans, the Aztecs moved up towards Texas. I guess they could have gone, ooh, there you go, uh, towards Central America. That would have really screwed them, but yeah, they got three cities now. Nice big old hurricane, which I really wish they would like follow realistic directions. That'd be amazing. Oh, I guess they kind of are. There you go, hit the Caribbean, hit, oh, that's, it's going fast now. Actually, well, I immediately take that back, perfect. Ah, America, yep. I don't know what else I expected. They couldn't resist. Can't let those Native Americans stick around for too long. The Inca are starting to have a lot of trouble. We could see a few revolts, which is unfortunate because with these mountains, they're normally pretty safe. The Mayans are going in. They're trying to take the capital, but uh, that's gonna be difficult, especially with these Eagle Warriors. Did the Syrup people just take an American city? A former American, it was a native city, whatever. They, they took it, I think, and then they got this one too. They're doing the best on this continent. Uh, what is going on? I mean, the United States isn't doing that bad. They've got four settlements, and uh, they're kind of just reaching down towards Florida, which is scary enough. I didn't realize how many natural wonders are out this way. There's one, two, three, and the Pawnee could probably get a hold of each one of them. The Aztecs are now returning the favor as they're approaching Mayan cities and trying to siege them out. Uh, I'm assuming some of the volcanoes have to be having an impact. It's got to be like the end of Revenge of the Sith as some of these warriors battle it out. I can't really tell who has the high ground. Just don't try it. Don't underestimate the power of the dark side. And this is the first time I'm realizing just how screwed the Mapuche is. They're next to two volcanoes, and this natural wonder kind of cuts them off in the south. They only have like four tiles, one of them's in the snow. Y'all are doomed. North America is pretty much already set. There's just, you know, territory left in California, Baja, California, which I'm assuming probably just these two nations have a chance of getting to. I mean, same thing for South America. Pretty much everyone has everything. There's a little space of Argentina, and uh, of course these islands. Just be careful with those. You never know who might pop up. The Korea are looking weaker and weaker every day, which is kind of scary because uh, the Pawnee are starting to get big, a little bit too big. And I don't think anyone in the East can stop them. I doubt it. The Mayans are at four cities, and they could restore my faith in the AI if they just build some sort of canal. It wouldn't be that hard. There's multiple spaces to do it in. I don't care. Give me the Honduras canal. Just come on, guys. The Inca are also officially dead, which means we're now down to 11 leaders. 11 countries now have to colonize the rest of the world. Brazil managed to grab Argentina since, I mean, let's be honest, no one else really can. And uh, they're kind of destined to fight it out with these guys for dominance over South America. Oh, and the mines have lost the city. Okay, uh, I'm kind of surprised, but 
at the same time, no, not really. And the Americans also managed to grab a city, this one from Pawnee, which, I mean, that's kind of a good sign. Maybe they won't just dominate the globe. Canada, come on guys, you're supposed to take as many snow cities as you can. Don't give this up to the Cree. They were already struggling. And so it begins. The Mayans are out here being the first ones to explore the Atlantic. And I guess they're gonna do that before anyone colonizes the Caribbean. Really? No, no one's interested? They got a whole lot of rum over here. And there's their first caravel. So it's safe to say they have discovered Iberia and probably France as well. They'll probably be over here quick with a settler. Another city revolts. Okay, safe to say they're going through Dark Age. Let's see if anyone else picks this up. All right, for real guys, I can't, I can't believe this. Out of everything you discovered, you went here first. The Scots themselves watching this right now are probably like, nah, that was a dumb idea. Oh yeah, we can confirm it right now. I am viewing as the Mayans, and this is what they've discovered so far. So, a lot of Africa, everything in Western Europe, I... I don't see the logic behind this decision. Let's just go with it. I probably should have reviewed over their unique abilities a long time ago, but I don't really see a whole lot here. Yeah, I don't see an explanation. Canada's the first to make it to the Caribbean. That's kind of odd. I mean, anyone really could have got this, but, uh... They're probably sick of the snow. And yes, just a little reminder, we are using that terribly disgusting map. Please don't hang me. But uh, everyone on the West Coast is going to be able to make it to Japan a lot easier, as well as everywhere in East Asia. I gotta say, I'm impressed by the Mapuche. I mean, they're still around, just barely with this one city. Although you can't really get in here. It's kind of difficult. As long as a navy doesn't invade, I think it'll be alright. And the Mayans aren't holding anything back. I think, uh... I think it's fine where they decided to settle first, because now they have Wales and Spain. It's not even coastal either. They, they don't even care anymore. They got four caravels out here just discovering the Mediterranean. That's scary. They seem to be the only one interested in this. I don't see much else. I, Canada's doing a little. That's something. They even just discovered giant spider land. So you know they've been doing this for a while. I know they get a bunch of science bonuses, so that kind of explains this. And the Canadians have finally arrived in Brittany. Brittany, France. This is probably not the last. I think that, yep, they've got another settler. Kind of makes sense they're going after French lands. And Brazil's doing the same thing. There goes Rome. Oh, I think I think that was the Canadian spot that they were going after. All right, have fun with Mount Vesuvius. Brazil's also the first ones to make it to the South Pole, which you might not want to be there. A lot of this is about to melt, guys. Just as they've always wanted, the US has now captured most of Cuba, settling Philadelphia right here. I guess they're starting to get into the colonial games. And a couple of barbarian tanks have just popped up in both Aztec and American territory. All right, people must be a little mad. You know, the Pawnee have probably discovered the Japanese mainland for a while now. They're probably just chilling, like looking at it from California. Just waiting to finally get over there one day. Well, the Mayans, I believe, are gonna get kicked out of the West. They're down to two cities. Again, the Aztecs are kind of to thank for that, but uh, also these guys in the South. The Mayans are flooding over into Iberia to the point where now they're pretty much Spain and colonizing Morocco. Uh, they do have to worry because now a lot more people are also in Africa. Even the Cree. Who knows how long the Cree had to travel to get all the way to kind of the Congo kind of cornered off in the west there. Japan's fully under control, which isn't much of a surprise, but I thought there'd be a few more going to China or India. No one's in Australia either. It seems like this is the popular area. And another city's fallen. I don't know how America's doing this exactly. There's clearly a war going on because I see this tank trying to do a suicide mission. Flood walls are being built everywhere, and that's nice, but this is in the Western Hemisphere. And everything out there in the east is, yeah, it's susceptible, pretty much. It's gonna be underwater. I would love to know how this settler became a barbarian. Uh, there's no barbarians on the map, I disabled that, so how does that work? Oh, and the Aztecs have found their first colony, and it is in Southeast Asia, so they're the first to do that. No one else is over here, they could just keep them coming. It is turn 300, and I wanted to see if anyone achieved a religious victory. Doesn't look like it, and that's kind of surprising, because I thought, I thought they'd be able to do it with such a small amount of land, and I've seen the AI do it in like 200 turns. And the floodgates are open, literally. Uh, this actually happened pretty gradually, but I wasn't paying attention. So, a lot of <laughs> coastal tiles pretty much underwater now. Japan at this point is starting to become more like the Philippines, more islands, more than ever. Yeah, this place has been devastated. Same goes for Korea. They've lost almost half their tiles. But the North's still doing good. That's all we care about. But you know what? I guess airplanes can just kind of still chill out here in the lowlands. I, I guess it can't be that bad. No, but seriously, like when there are no AIs to build flood walls or anything like that, the world is just massacred. Look at Scandinavia. Look, look how bad this is. This Brazilian Roman city has kind of just become a canal. That's 
really nice, actually. It's not super useful. I mean, it never was, but <laughs> still. We also just lost the entire state of Florida, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. News is gonna be a lot less exciting now. And I thought this was gonna happen. The Mayans have been completely kicked out of the West, but it doesn't really matter, because they're the only ones that are really colonizing. They're going crazy. I guess this could just be their new home. Mayans love to disappear. Maybe that's what happened in the real world too. Maybe they set sail and just blended into Europe. I could see that. I just noticed that Australia quite literally has become a desert continent. That's all that really remains. Almost all the grass tiles are pretty much underwater. Strangely, the only thing that's still okay is Hawaii. I don't know really how that works, but all right. For the most part, everything in the West is all right. A lot of it hasn't been impacted by rising sea levels, but Canada's done a really good job. They've really protected their lands. Probably the best out of everyone. Still trying to figure out how the Caspian Sea flooded though. Hmm. Yeah, I got a lot of questions about that. Honestly, I don't even know if I'd want this for another like big 50 minute Civ 6 mega campaign. I, I don't think, oh, I mean, it wouldn't be this bad because I'd have a bunch of civs protecting this stuff, but so ugly. And Brazil has completely taken over South America. I don't know how they did that so fast, but they just, they wiped out the natives. That's incredible. That might get taken out of context. Uh, but, you know, nothing happened in North America. It's still very divided over here. If anything, uh, these guys are just picking up more cities because the Korea is starting to collapse. Europe is now almost completely dominated by the Mayans. They got Spain, France, the British Isles, Germany, everything in the east. There's, you know, some Brazilian stuff down this way. I don't even know if you want this though. Well, Canada's kind of carved their way into Western Africa, and this doesn't look bad at all. They've got, you know, a couple cities right in a row. That will not be easy to take over. As for Asia, it's kind of just a big sporadic mixture of things, which is expected. The Americans now have Cincinnati and Los Angeles. Interesting spot for those two. And here we are, turn 1250, and uh, just focusing on the West for now, the natives took over the north, that's for sure. The US is almost dead. They're definitely not in, in their homeland anymore. Canada's still up here though. The Aztecs have also been displaced, but like the Mayans, they're in a pretty good position. They might survive. They're not in as good of a position as the Mayans because the Mayans have pretty much had a whole new start. Brazil's also flexing on the Southern Hemisphere as they not only control South America, but also most of Africa a lot of Africa, and they still kept, oh, no, they didn't. Okay, never mind. I thought they kept the stuff. Can't stop the Mayans. Americans are still surviving in like Central Asia and uh, this part of the Pacific, and they'll probably be all right. They, they'll probably die one day though. Most people at this point have achieved a science victory, which isn't a surprise when you go this far into the game. Uh, culture, uh, yeah, Brazil always does good in culture. They're also doing very well in domination, but there are two civs leading that category. And uh, still no religious victory, kind of divided there too. In terms of demographics, this isn't much of a surprise. It's pretty much just the Brazilians and the Pawnee. Very divided though. I still don't know who should win. There's seven leaders left, which means half of them died during the course of this video. And uh, not a whole lot of wars going on right now. Kind of some allies, a lot of denouncing. That's about it though. So here we go. If we're gonna judge by score, I think uh, I think we gotta give it to the Brazilians because they have led. Pedro has kind of led for the most part. There was a small dip, but it's all good. They kind of recovered. It is very close though. The Mayans are kind of hard to see, but look at that. That is amazing. Losing their homeland in the West and still managing to get third place. I honestly just want to give them the win. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Like I said, I don't know if I'd want the uh, the flood levels to be this high. I had disaster set to like five. Again, I'm using like a crazy mod. So uh, I did enjoy experimenting with it and it would definitely change if I actually had like old world Eastern nations out here protecting some of this stuff. I don't know, we'll see. Definitely think about doing another 50 minute video that will likely happen maybe next week. Um, and I'd like to put a whole bunch of mods in the next world. Thanks for watching, see you next time. And big thanks to Furry Cruz, LVC, Destiny, F 9000, Hate Me Like You Do Your Sheila, Elijah Senpai, Crucification, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, King Solomon, Ben Moak, Galley, Tanner of the Nazareth, Mr. Perkelly, Cooter Donkey, Brandon H, Mega Fat Boy, A Sneaky G, Jared Clark, Battle Buddy 1847, Andrea Thank you.